This was the last question that uh, Rachel Mitchell was allowed to ask <laughs> in the hearing. <laughs> and um, I don't know that it was because she asked this. There was a break subsequent to this, right? And then when they returned from the break, she was not asking questions yep, anymore. Yeah. Now, I don't know if it was because she was pointing out that he had on his calendar a party with two thirds of the people who um, Blasey Ford had said were present in and around a time that if you reverse engineer it from when Mark Judge was working at that Safeway and she said that she had seen him six to eight weeks after the party which would have been at the end of August. July 1st fits right in there. But it's quite a coincidence. And here is that exchange. I'm quite convinced that at one point, Mitchell herself was convinced that he did it. Judge, do you still have your uh, calendar? The calendar's there. I do. I would like you to look at the July 1st entry. Yes. The entry says, and I quote, go to Timmy's for skis with Judge, Tom, PJ, Bernie, and Squee? Squee. Okay. It's, a nick to what does, it's a nickname. Okay. To what does this refer and, and to whom? So uh, first says Tobin's house workout. So that's one of the football workouts that we would have uh, that uh, Dr. Fenizio would run. Uh, for guys on the football team. Pause it for uh, one second. Now, I, I, if I was the FBI, I would go talk to Dr. Fenizio. Maybe if Dr. Fenizio has died. But I would talk to other people. What happened at these summer football workouts? We're in July, right? July 1st, things are a little bit looser. We're still a couple months away, right? We're hard at off-season now. This, this is peak off-season. When I was in high school, you couldn't even practice football in the summer like this. If I Well, if I, I don't I know if Dr. Fenizio was an officially associated with, but we don't know. Go ahead. It's on the football team uh, during the summer. So we would be there. That's usually six to eight or so, kind of till near dark. Uh, and then it looks like we went over to Timmy's. You want to know their last names too? Um, I'm happy to do it. If you could just identify, uh, is is Judge Mark Judge? It is. And is PJ PJ Smith? It is. So, it's Tim Gaudet, Mark Judge, Tom Kane, PJ Smith, Bernie McCarthy, Chris Garrett. Chris Garrett is Squee. He is. Pause it. Chris Garrett is also the guy that Ed Whelan said was the doppelganger. Chris Garrett is the guy who supposedly introduced uh, those two, Kavanaugh and uh, Blasey Ford. PJ was the one that she sort of went out with, right? And Mark Judge. So four of the guys there she had placed at this party. Before. The other two weren't. Now, go meet those guys um is in the future so who knows who's there and at what time go ahead continue mccarthy chris garrett chris garrett is squee he is did you in your calendar routinely document social gatherings like house parties or gatherings of friends in your calendar yes it it certainly appears that way. That's what I was doing in the summer of 1982, and you can see that reflected on several of the several of the entries. If a gathering like Dr. Ford has described had occurred, would you have documented that? Yes, because I documented everything, uh, those kinds of events, even small get-togethers. August 7th is another good example where I documented a small get-together. Um, that summer, so yes. August 7th, um, 
Could you read that? Uh... I think that's go to Becky's. Pause it. Uh, Matt. Like, what is he trying to? What is she trying to establish here? Like, she she talks about it, but just I'm just going over random things in the calendar. I better get off. And then let her finish. She finishes, and that's that is the last we ever heard of her. I think that's go to Becky's. Uh, Matt. Denise. Uh, Lori. Jenny. Have you reviewed every entry that is in these calendars of May, June, July, and August of 1982? I have. Is there anything that could even remotely fit what we're talking about in terms of Dr. Ford's allegations? No. Uh, we just heard something that remotely fit it. Four of the six guys who are going going to meet on that what was it a Thursday we're there now Dr. Blasey Ford is in it she really must have some skills to know who he was hanging out with that summer seeing as how she never even met the dude Soros must have had that information Soros must have had his calendars I mean that right there is stunning and um, Sheldon Whitehouse brought it up in the committee me meeting today before the vote. Like, I mean, this is <laughs> this has got to be the things that are weighing on a Collins and a Murkowski if they have half a brain, because uh, there's a lot of people out there who have a large investment in finding out what exactly happened there. And. Yeah, she walked right up to that July 1st thing and then let him filibuster a little bit, and then this was the sound she made. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, why would she even go there? Well, she still has a professional reputation. Yeah, that's that's the tension protect. there. Do you have, um, so it, and Hike Camp and Mansion are the only ones that we don't know yet, right? I don't feel good about Hike Camp. Okay, I, but Jones, Donnelly, Tester... And uh, there's one other whose name I can't remember have uh, gone out the right way on this.